cheeky. No, that's cheeky. <laughs> Stop saying that. What's the winning formula? Well. <laughs> God. Say it with your chest. Don't be, say it with your chest. My journey was a series of me saving people that I thought deserved to stay or like, or like friends and stuff. What the, do you think got people voting? I think what, what people got, what got people jump from the island is moving mad. Like moving mad, but not being yourself, like playing a game and like just not treating people with respect. What did I bring? Did I bring height? <laughs> because I was on the opposite side, literally. I'll come kick it with you sometimes. It's just staying to myself. I know, but people love me, so then they'll my uh, there just, you go. just my influence just rubbed Ooh. off. No, there's a difference between. You saved me. There's a difference. <laughs> you saved a, stop me. saying that. What takeaway did you miss the most, Amber? Sushi. I absolutely love and breathe sushi, and we didn't really get me ever. So, what do you think that is the best way to apologise for food? Yeah, it's just something simple. Maybe biscuits or something like that. Biscuits. Or like the chocolates, because obviously they ran out mad quick. So. If you had if a you stash, said, if you had a right. stash, get me! <laughs> Come on! What What's the best way to apologise with food? The toasties were a touch, but they stopped for a while and then they got yeah. resumed. So they got resumed and everything was sorted. So that was the apology for me. I was more than happy with that because I was addicted to them. So I'll accept that apology of cheese toasties. Just fine. Suit me just fine. How would you style out the um, Just Eat uniform in the villa? I'll just wear the helmet. Just the helmet by itself. <laughs> no, that's cheeky. <laughs> What's the one thing that you wish that you had brought from home? I wish I would have brought my barbecue grill from home. <laughs> Actually asked them. But no, 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 dead serious. I was like, yeah, would I be allowed to barbecue while I'm in the house? Like, no, you're not allowed to barbecue. What was the first takeaway you got when you dipped out of the villa with that championship check? <laughs> With the championship check, mac and cheese and like pizza, I just got like loads of stuff, like just random stuff. So what do you think is the quickest way to get voted off the island? It's talking smack behind people's back. <laughs> you can't do them things there. No. Because at the end of the day, yeah, like the public, they can see everything. Just, see what's going on. We can on. see you just did that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, because we was up a couple of times. Me and you, well, we was up once. Up Remember, for what? For eviction. No, we weren't. <laughs> yes, we were. Remember we went to the um, party and you were like, oh, I'm worried. I said, don't worry, people see real. No, we got, we got saved. We got we saved. Islanders. Yeah, we got saved though. But we was up though. We could have went home. No, everybody was up. No, not everyone was up. Because no, I remember, no, the new couples weren't up. Remember, it's true. The new couples weren't up because exactly. they weren't new. Exactly. So we, everyone wasn't up though. But we weren't up because of a certain reason. We were just up because we were there and that was the nature of the game. But and what did I say? I just said everyone was up. You didn't say everyone was up. I was saying everyone was up. You were saying something different. Right, anyways. We've got video evidence anyway. You, I'm saying everyone was up. You were saying. <laughs> we it. have video evidence. No. Am I tripping or did that roll it back? No. I'm telling you. So everyone wasn't up, though. <laughs>